I've completed my shaker embellishments. I've packaged them up and I'm going to show you guys. But before I do that, I want to tell you something else. So this butterfly shaker die set also has this card making or mini bag topper type of uh, border frame as well. I'll take it out of the thing to show you. It's like this. Now I did not use this yet for this project and it also comes with this other one and I didn't use that. I did not use the middle part of the butterfly either because I really wanted the crafting time to be super fun. I didn't want to spend all of my spare time die cutting so many different things. So I only really utilized these two bits here. And I absolutely love the size and the shape that it is. And also, after die cutting the frame part, which looks like this, you also get these middle parts here. And those middle parts, if you put five of them together, they become a flower, you guys. So I did not throw any of those away and I made some flowers. And I also added some gold glitter bits and some seed beads and look how pretty they are and these will be really good pieces to use for your bag toppers or for packaging anything so i have several made here to show you quickly and some other yellow one and this is how it looks after you just glue the five petal bits together so this shape is just so intricate and pretty i thought that it was too good to chuck out and you get a flower out of it as well so you're not really wasting anything you cut out so how pretty is that i just wanted to quickly share for those of you who have bought this die and you can make some flowers too so i have packaged them all up here are the ones aren't they pretty like I've used some Maggie Holmes Market Square paper underneath to stick these. And so the recipient in the future, they can actually get the embellishments off because they are just being held by tiny foam dots, tiny foam squares like this. They're very tiny, so they will easily come off. And then the paper bit can be used for die cutting, I thought. So there's one lot and here is the other lot. Now this pattern paper here is from Maggie Holmes' Parasol collection of the lemons. I just love all of the colors together. I have showed you these butterflies individually, so I'm not going into any more details. I also got to utilize the Market Square. I think this was a oh, stamp. It had stamps in here. And I really love the scalloped edge that they have at the bottom. And I love the pictures at the top. And I even love the feel of this packaging. So I kept it safe and I got to utilize it with my butterfly embellishment. See? I just use the, I just reuse the bag and then I use the double sided tape to hold it down. So that's my other one. And then I also got to utilize the Jen Headfield packaging because look at the holographic scalloped edge here. How could you chuck that out, right? So I kept it and I have used it to package up these individual butterfly embellishments that I've made using the jump ring at the bottom of the trim. So you just have to, after winding the trim, because you're only gluing the middle part, you have access, easy access at the bottom part of the butterfly to put through the larger size jump ring. Then you can add your beaded dangles like mine. And I love the fact that I got to use this holographic edged packaging material again. And it just looks so pretty. Here's another one. This one was from the Live and Let Grow. I think it was a sticker sheet. And look at the foiled edge, so pretty. And it goes well with this particular butterfly embellishment that I have made. And then I didn't have any more of the scalloped edge packaging to reuse. So I had to utilize something else. 
but put a, a half of the, well, I folded the pink doily in half, a little mini size one. And then I just fussy cut some flour from the market square and just glued that down. And this pattern paper at the back here is from the parasol six by eight where the little tiny hearts are gold foiled. Isn't that pretty? So, so pretty. So I have done those. And then while I was packaging all of these up, I had other layered butterflies made. So I packaged them up using recycle packaging as well. I keep all of the clean packaging from the stickers and ephemera packs to reuse like this. And I used some parasol uh, background paper and then I added a heart-shaped doily underneath or underneath these embellishments. And it just adds a special touch, I thought. Here is another one where I have utilized the market square paper and the mini blue, sky blue doily. And it just creates such interesting packaging look. And then I added some sequins that would go with the embellishment colors. Then I have another one where I have just put the four layered butterflies and I also used the pattern paper from the parasol, added a heart shaped doily and then just used my foam squares to pop these butterflies on top and then added some sequin in there as well. So the future recipients can utilize the background paper for die cutting. You get so much you know, pieces out of a little piece of paper like this. And you can make ruffles and so and so. So everything can be used again. So that's all my share for you guys. I hope you have enjoyed looking at my butterfly embellishments process video that I have quickly put together. And I look forward to sharing more products with you guys soon. More projects. Bye for now.